Hey there, YouTubers! Hi there, Dr. Sheep here. Welcome back to the Rando video. So today is also a testing memes. So today we're tackling the meme about Area 51. And sorry for the audio, I, I, I'm not in the best room, and my microphone. No, it kaputs. I, I don't know. It makes it. T -t 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 -t. It's done it since day one, but usually you 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 redo the shot and it doesn't do it again. Nope, that that didn't fix it this time. Anyways, I gotta put my laptop in. I kind of need it for references here. But let's dive into things, shall we? So, the meme about Area 51 is that a bunch of people are going to raid Area 51 on September 20th. 2019. Um, that's it. It was a it was a thing set up on Facebook, invited a bunch of people, and it's just slowly snowballed into like 300,000 people. Last time I checked, as of July 15th, 2019. Anyways, so if we go into the rest of things here, all the testing memes, just like this one, are broken down. We discussed the origins, which we did, and then I put on the tiered system. And then finally, I give my last thoughts. So, before I put on the ranking, we have to really look at, well, PewDiePie's ranking. What, what does he think of the meme? He hasn't reviewed memes in, like, a month or more. He's been playing Minecraft, uh, which I love. Don't get me wrong, I love Minecraft, and I love that he's playing it. I just need him to review memes. So, let's do a meme review. Meme review. If we analyze this meme, as in through the eyes of PewDiePie, based off the kind of humor he likes, I think he'd rate it pretty high. Uh, unless he sees a meme, like he did there was this one meme he really liked, and then he saw one particular bad variation of it, and then he was just like, nope, he hates it. Period. Done. And that's possible. Um, one instance of myself is the Belle Delphine bathwater memes. Those were great. I love them. They're hilarious. And they were kind of getting stale, then the Area 51s showed up, and I was like, oh, well, okay, bye. Kind of even forgot they existed. And then I saw a meme yesterday. Um, somebody took a radiator, which is a, for a computer, so a CPU water-cooled system, and put Bell Delphine bathwater in it. Now, it was just a Photoshop uh, Amazon page for like $100, but... Alliance Tech Tips, Gamers Nexus, somebody, Jay's Two Cents, somebody, go and actually do this. Take a water-cooled PC system, buy a bunch of bath water, and fill it up. Uh, that would be the greatest meme of all time. I would die laughing. Although, you'd have to clean the water so that it doesn't, like, destroy the parts, and therefore it really wouldn't be bath water. If it even is bath water, I'm going off on a tangent. The point is... PewDiePie would give it a very high score, but I'm not PewDiePie, and to be honest, I really don't like this meme. I give it a 0 out of 10. Next meme. Okay, so the tiered system. If you're not familiar with the tiered system, here it is. Okay, just get a nice, good look at it. Well, if I were to go to Area 51 and, you know, try and rate it, it would be a 7 for me. If you, a, if you are a memester, try and do it, or a memist, um, you would be participating in a tier 7. However, <laughs> no. So, for it to be a tier 4 or 5, we'd have to see people get shot. And until that happens, it won't be a tier 4 or 5. Uh, not racist, so not tier 3. Uh, tier 1 or 2. Well, not everybody can go to Area 51, so not tier 1. I'd give it a tier 2. Um, pretty weak until someone dies. So that brings me to my last point. So, am I going to Area 51? Well, the short answer is no. But you guys don't stick around for the short answer. You stick around for the long haul, the whole answer. I've got three points. Three things that could happen to you if you go to Area 51. One, you die. Period. Plain and simple. Two, you are imprisoned. Honestly, that's probably the most likely. 
And three, even if you don't go, and these people, the 300,000 people, manage to break into Area 51, they could result in leaking sensitive information. Now, if I were the president, I would have made sure that, that sensitive information was moved away, all the sensitive uh, equipment and whatever was all off-site and somewhere else. And if I were president, I would just play a joke and like leave the whole place like unguarded and make sure everything's cleaned up. But you can't do that, obviously, for many reasons. But it would be funny and turn it into kind of a joke. The president could turn into kind of a joke. But anyways, this sensitive material being leaked could result in a national security crisis that we have never seen since like 9-11. And it put myself at risk, it put you at risk, it put a lot of people at risk. Um, it, this is, that's why I'm like, not only is people possibly going to be in prison or die, they put everyone else in the U.S. at risk. So as a PSA, don't go. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, and share new videos every other Friday, 4.30 p.m. Central Time. And if you made it all the way through the video, comment long haul and good night. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Subs for trees. Oh, you're still here? I thought I told you to go home. Oh, you want more? I'm flattered. Check out the playlist. If you want exclusive content, check out my Instagram, doctor underscore sheep underscore YouTube. That's all lowercase. If you want to help the earth, subscribe. When I reach 100 subscribers, I'm going to plant 10 trees. If you feel that's too small, then check out my channel tour where I lay out even bigger goals. Finally, stick around for the next 20 seconds to give me that sweet watch time. Bye.